Hi, I'm Paul Wise. I'm a professor of surgery here at Washington University Barnes Jewish Hospital and Seidman Cancer Center. I'm a colorectal surgeon and one of the interests that I have is related to the prevention and treatment of colorectal cancer. And we thought this would be kind of a fun way to show you all exactly what we mean by screening and why screening is so important related to colorectal cancer. And so I'm going to take you on a little tour of a giant human colon. So as gross as that may sound, I'm now going to walk into the colon. So when we talk about colon cancer screening, I wanted to start off with kind of showing you initially about the normal colon. So this is nice and pink and healthy with normal blood vessels. But as we move along here, this is to try to show you what kind of a precursor is or what the start of most colon cancers is, which is a benign polyp, and I hit my head on one. And so what happens is these polyps will grow and then potentially turn into a colon cancer, which is shown further down the colon here. What we do with screening is we try to use different methods to help us identify these polyps and hopefully remove these polyps early so they don't actually have a chance to turn into a cancer. Here is an example of inflammatory bowel disease or Crohn's disease, and these patients can also be at increased risk for developing colon cancer as well. So in these two different situations where people develop polyps or uh, have inflammatory bowel disease, we want to do screening methods to make sure that we can remove them or prevent the development of a cancer. There are circumstances where people have lots of these benign polyps. It's a situation that's actually a familial situation or a genetic situation that put people at increased risk, where they get lots and lots of polyps that line the entire higher lining of the colon, and almost all of those patients end up with colorectal cancer if we don't do surgery or other preventative uh, things to, to stop the cancer from developing. As we move further down, you see that these polyps start to get a little bit more ugly, and they start to group into areas where maybe uh, they're growing a bit larger and even deeper into the lining of the colon, and that can be a colon cancer. And so those polyps develop into cancers, and eventually those cancers can be much more extensive and more substantial. And at this point, it's harder for us to treat that with the colonoscopy. We're usually then having to talk about surgery or other treatments, especially when it becomes much, much more advanced, and this is a more significant and colon cancer that's growing outside of the wall of the colon, maybe is spread to lymph nodes or other areas. Really, at that point, screening isn't as successful because the colon cancer is already advanced. So the hope is, is if we can screen people, we can prevent this type of advanced cancer from happening, and then they don't even need surgery or surgeons like me. So I hope you enjoyed the tour, and I hope this has been informative. So thanks.